Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen, and today I want to talk to you about how to fish riprap. So basically, I, I throw a, a crankbait is what I do, or a spinner bait, something moving. Uh, I try to bounce it off of as much of uh, the rock as I possibly can. There's always a place where the rock just stops out deeper, and I try to identify where that is first. Right now, this one is at about eight feet deep, um, so I'm throwing a crankbait that can get down to eight feet pretty quick. It's actually a 10 to 12 foot diving crankbait. Um, one that they can get down there pretty fast and bang off of those rocks. That's the key is you want to bang a moving bait off the rocks. If it was a spinner bait, I'd be slow rolling it and trying to bang it off the rocks. Get that reaction bite off of the fish that are down there on that, on that rock edge. So the way I fish crankbaits um, is I either tie on a, a square bill or a deeper diving crankbait depending on the depth. And I try to parallel it as much as possible. I get the boat real close to, those, to the edge of the rocks and I'm gonna throw right along the parallel, right where the, that last rock is. I'm throwing one that, that right now that dives 10 to 12 feet deep. And I'm trying to bang it on those eight foot rocks, seven and eight foot. And as I bang a rock, I kill it. And I just let the bend of the rod come back to straight. So I'm not really letting the bait stop, I'm just letting it almost stop. And as you bang into those rocks, that bait goes dunk, and it bounces off a different direction and it causes a reaction strike from a bass if it's sitting there. Just throw it out, reel it on down till you bump something and then start to reel real slow and you're bouncing it off of all those rocks. And in darker, dingier water, that makes plenty of noise for the, to attract a fish and try to figure out what the world that thing is going by him. Now, did you guys see that? Now, if you get hung up, I'll, I love crankbaits because they'll float. So if you get hung up and you can't pull it loose, just let slack in the line and give it a second or two. And a lot of times that bait will back, that crankbait will back up out of that little crack or whatever it got lodged in and, uh, and it will get itself loose and then you can start fishing again. Now, another way I like to fish it is with a shaky head. This is tough. You're gonna lose a bunch of them, but uh, I have, I've literally won tournaments doing this. And you don't fish it like your typical shaky head. You don't let it sink all the way to the bottom and shake it because what it'll do, it'll work its way into the cracks and the rocks. So what you do is you throw it out and you have to have a good sensitive rod. That's why I love to have braid on my, on my rod as sensitive as you can get because what I'm doing is I'm, abs I'm just, as soon as it touches a rock, I pull it up. As soon as it touches another rock, I pull it up. I'm working it very, very fast along as close to the rocks as I can get without getting hung up. It's never perfect because a lot of times you're gonna get them hung up and you gotta either go get them and try to pull them out or break them off and tie on another one. But it catches a snot out of fish. So basically I'm gonna throw it out, keeping my line as tight as I can I feel for it to hit a rock and then I just shake it and, and work it down those rocks all the way to that outside edge in six to eight feet of water. You can do the same thing with a jig. You can do the same thing with a Texas rig. Just remember, don't let it settle. I don't care if it's a football head or not. It's going to get hung in these rocks if you let it settle down in, inside of them. And usually when the fish are up on those rocks, they're feeding. So they're going to hit it pretty quick. Now, there are plenty of other ways to fish it. I'll throw a Carolina rig along, along that edge. That outside edge is key, especially when the sun gets out and the fish move off of those rocks. They're no longer up in them, feeding up shallow. They'll move out deeper. I'm going to throw something like a Carolina rig or a deeper diving crankbait or things like that, buzz bait. Uh, one of my favorite crankbaits to throw uh, up, in, up into the rocks is a square bill because those square, that square bill deflects off of those rocks really, really well. So um, moving baits, and jigs and jig heads just be very careful about letting them settle into the rocks and be ready to get things unhung so that's a short one but that's how i fish riprap um, it works the fish love these things love this rock all year long uh, sometimes they're in the mood to bite and sometimes they're not but 
it is, it's one of my favorite ways to catch them, especially when the bite's tough. Well, like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. Check out my Fishing Shirt of the Month Club. I'll leave the link in the description. More importantly, get out on the water, go and catch some fish, and have a great day.